back to the Shadowrun Podcast, Chanomers. My name's Jeremy, and I'll be your GM for the next half hour. Not our usual hour-long blabbering session. I apologize for the sound on this. We are doing some mixing and matching of audio equipment to try to get something new to work, and I think we'll see what happens. We record as always, in front of a live Meeple audience, and we'll be testing out new equipment for the next session this Tuesday. Check out maltedmeeple.com on your Matrix browsers for more information about the location. Meanwhile, in this run, we're wrapping up. And I know it's been a little bit late, it's been a lot of stuff to get through, but if you'll pardon the dumpster diving, this one's gonna be... well... It's a dog pile. Holy smokes. I look like a smaller size orc, or like a larger human. I know that. He tortures you. All right, so what's your uh, initials? 27. 25. And what's that? Okay. Uh, there's. But, uh, I'm going to move in the general direction of the. Uh, okay. You said you were trying to keep a little bit of a distance so you'd be able to react, so you're going to be a ways away. Can I get off of. So, what is she actually going into? Uh, it's a back alley. Dash across his chest. Back alley. So there's probably no way. Is there okay. another way out? So now, Nobody really looked because, for that earlier, uh, but if you were, you had enough time to figure out the, the layout. Yeah, there is a way out. Um, it's one of those where it goes down that way and then hangs a right and then cuts across to another street. Is there anyone else in the alley with us as we run by? Uh, no, there is not. Okay. Uh, what about like any kind of like dumpsters, scaffolding? There's a couple of fire escapes, a couple of dumpsters. Okay. How long shall I can get here? The other end of the alley. Uh, you would have to go past everybody. Um, you're, it's going to take you probably two turns right. to get to that alley in the first place. My movement's 36 meters. Okay, it'll take you a little over a turn to get to that alley. Nice. So I was in the so alley. My, my thought is I want to get back, out baby. of this populated area first. Don't, don't, don't say that. So I was already in the alley previous yeah, to you so running you into it, right? Because then I head over there. Was, I snuck over there first. Then you taunted them. So, okay. am I in the alley? You running I was hoping towards you'd us be in, the alley. in the alley, and you are in the crowd still. Yeah, it's gonna be kind of hard for you to do that in okay. one turn. Okay. okay, well, I did a running check. I get two extra the, meters. Okay. Because running the, is the strength, right? right? Actually, yeah, the, even the, if uh, the thing I'm say thinking this, of is like a crowded alleyway. Behind me, actually, or, uh, it's better kind of because then you can be spread one and. It's actually faster to Because remember, past they're them. coming after the pit. I, I want to get the, the wimpy out. out. What if I'm in the thing and you're running so by, I might be able to get there too. Otherwise, I'm going to see if that's your option. Too. If not, I'm just going to use the pistol. <laughs> I don't think it would be an option. Okay, then I'll just use a pistol. Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm jacked up. I'm ready to go. <laughs> assemble one. And I'm already off from it, and I just like added more stuff to it. It's actually a weapon. Out. Yeah, um, I was just thinking of in terms of where everybody kind of is. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking because I don't want like everybody to see. Oh my gosh, that little girl has like, a giant rifle. Yeah. I have a backpack. You see the bullet? Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking it would be easier for you to use the pistol to break out a rifle. That, that's, that's what I needed to know. Because <laughs> that also depends on, so I'm still going to try to go to the other end of the alley. Yeah, and I'm sorry for not describing right, the, the scene up, better sir. earlier. It's a straightaway. I really did shot. not even try. I, I didn't no, even ask right. what I did in this alleyway thing. It's fine. I'm a I thrill just, seeker. I wouldn't even think that far ahead. <laughs> I just want to know where you know, I am. Am, am I already in the alley as yeah, you guys run by, or am I, am I like? Do you hit, want me to roll luck, or am I running I'm after roll you? Edge test. Yeah, go ahead. Give uh, me to roll edge. edge. Yeah. I got one edge. I got two hits. Back some, so he's definitely not yeah, you guys happen to be uh, picking the same alley, and you're close enough to be able to pull that off. So am I in the alley, or am I already? Am I just chasing after the? What's going on? You would be. Where do you want to be? 
It would be Ghost and then you, so you guys have opportunity to I just, because they have the penalty to shoot you, right so. Yeah. Okay. Because so so you we'll see, go, uh, then that means you would see all this happening. You're chasing uh, after six. us, right? So you're behind the kids. <laughs> you're in front of them. These are kids. These are like adult 20 year olds. Unless yeah. you have a uh, right. vision magnification at all? No. Have you ever seen a vision Clark magnification? Clark? You can take an aim action yeah. to only. Okay. It's old. Yeah. yeah. The guy with the That's the attitude of Four the guys that, you're, that are kind of taunting everybody. Yeah. They're not wearing the, the white on white, but okay. that's the attitude that they're presenting. Okay. That they are better than everybody. Um, everybody is going to know it. And then I will be then. They'll probably run past me then chasing her. I'll be like towards the beginning of the alley. And I'm just going to kind of be you know, standing there. Okay. So when they run by, then I will be like behind. Instead of stealthing and changing the ammo and pistol, or instead of running, changing the ammo and pistol stealthily to stick shots. Without like a whole string or anything, just you know. Oh, you know, pop mag out. Give me a palm and help. Palm or sneaking? Palm and help. I'm very small. Three feet tall. You're like, you're like smaller than Sammy. Yes, I know. Gnomes, like, are typically three feet or less. Yeah, you're like this, you're like this, literally like the size of him. Like you, nobody would really notice you at all. I could like put you in my book bag and carry you around. Yes, I know. <laughs> so I'm hoping that there's a penalty to their perception. I guess I didn't realize you were that small. Yeah, gnomes are tiny. I weigh 45 pounds. Okay. Uh, you feel that you're reasonably sneaky. 0.92 meters tall with 70 centimeters of cybernetic hair. So it's actually three quarters of my height inside of my character. I'm an anime troll. Oh my gosh. I think the AK-74 or whatever I have in my back, 97. I think when it's assembled, it's as tall as I am. Wait, should, do I have to, So I know we're going to be so. hit... This is... We, we initiated this, right? So I know we're going to get into a fight with these kids, right? They're not kids. <laughs> well, whatever, these people. I know we're going to get into a fight with these people, right? Yeah. So do I, should I roll a composure check to see if I would use that shock glove? Or would I just ready spurs? I would, I would say... Personally, I'd say composure with potentially leadership, but that's just me. <laughs> if you were trying to convince them to be calm and not kill them. <laughs> okay. the entire thing. Right. I guess I... Okay, well, it's your turn. Because All if we're going right. to get into a fight, I'm going to hurt somebody. Um, they are probably look better for us not to kill them. But, alright, we will... Remember, keep them alive. Keep them alive. Keep them alive. Keep them alive. So you're running by with these people, right? Yeah. Technically, it would, she could. Running is not an action. She could take a complex action to use leadership to help your composure test. Mm -hmm. What would I roll? Okay. So, if you're using this leadership, is my composure, right? go ahead and roll leadership. If you're just yeah. using it yeah, as a dice. trying to convince the of this, then roll I can leadership. To use my yeah, shot glove? <laughs> yes. Use your gloves, man. Use your gloves. Okay, um, so that was an eight. Yeah, I'm trying to think if you're not doing leadership. If they're, if they're well, not I dead, figured leadership was faster. We already. Dicks on their faces. Yeah. All right. Think about it. If you kill them, there's no dicks. <laughs> no, if you kill them, nobody knows that they're dicks. Yeah. Yeah. So Rick and Mortis said, and they still have dicks. Ha ha. I don't have the skill of just using yeah. raw charisma. You got five. I get five more dice? No, it was five hits on leadership to convince you to. Uh, use the, the sun glove. Oh, okay. Uh, if you, do you want to resist that? No. I think the character flaw would automatically But I, I feel like I would automatically resist it. You would, you would automatically roll to resist. I would automatically okay. roll to resist. Yeah, because your character is... Yeah, I just didn't write it down. Which well, it's not you not disclosure for that. It's a different oh. dice and, oh, I probably forgot all of them. To resist no. leadership? No. <laughs> leadership. This would be... Charisma, leadership, plus willpower. You know how the leadership scale, so it's just your willpower. Just willpower. It's your Well, I got two hits, so I'd probably resist. No, no she no. had five. 
shoot net three, which is incidentally enough that your composure target would be a three. So go ahead and now roll composure. Now roll three or roll my full Wait, composure. She did it. Cause All right. Um, so I'm you're going to three. resist, but roll composure to see how well you resist. Or well, I got three hits again. Okay. Then, yeah, you, you don't grumble about it. You go, oh, this is probably a good idea. Okay. You're just moving past and doing the leadership. Uh, okay. You've got a free action left. Um, um, question, when it comes to doing, because I've so never done this before, knockout, to cast that would be a full complex action? Yes. Oh, okay. What can I do as a simple What's my free action? What can you do? Uh, free action is usually something like saying something or injecting a clip. You can have it as a smart link item. Um, changing mode on your gun if you have a smart link. See if it's even stuck around. Um, Hey, Silver Cloud, you wanna watch? Yeah. Can I? Whether he comes yeah. or not, you wanna watch a fight? Okay. Well, um. Can I just want to watch a fight? Okay. Well, Ghost has just run past no. you, and there are six, and five no, guys going towards you. Oh, too bad you don't have a stick. They could all trip. Yeah. And that would, that would be so funny. Uh, do I even tell you? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so it's charisma based. Is there a trash can? Yeah. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. Okay. <laughs> There's a couple of trash cans. Push it over. You see how many of them go flying over? <laughs> <laughs> or just full action until they actually come into the alley and just grab them with the shot gloves. Uh, well, they are going to be chasing after you. Their movement is not nearly as good as yours. So we've got um, one of them is going on 16 and is going to run past everybody to try to grab you. He will run past you if you want to try to do something. The yeah, if he's gamer, he's running by, yeah, I have yeah, decent yeah, reach, yeah. don't I? Yeah. So, no, no, you have, you have no bonus reach. Well, no. But you can still grab he's him with the shotgun. To... Well, I mean, what would it take for you to run by and I just like try to push you? Same thing as using the shotgun. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Well, I don't know. What, is that just an unarmed Shoot. strike? Yeah, it's yes. just an unarmed strike. First. Okay, then I'll just roll an unarmed strike. Which is the same thing that the shot glove uses to attack with. Awesome. Yeah. Alright, well, yeah, I have, I have, I have, I have the shot gloves on my hands. I have nine hits. Okay. Oh, the poor guy. Basically, he runs by and I just shock the crap out of him. Pretty much, yeah. Okay. He runs by you and just You said you had nine? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, the shot glove does so 16 stun. 16 stun. Minus 5 AP. The crabby basically has a stroke when I shock him. Okay. <laughs> okay. He's off rhythm. But he's still alive. <laughs> yeah. So you. Shove him! Okay. And he kind of collides with the brick wall on the other side. Okay. Clearly is phased by this. Uh, let's see, we've got somebody else saying, hey, he hit him. Gonna try to attack you. And then we've got four guys after that who are gonna try to dogpile. Crap, I gotta remember the rules on dogpile. You mean they're just gonna jump on me? Uh, well, first one's gonna try to hit, so let's see if he remembers how to hit. Well, I'm gonna try to dodge. Add 11 dice to Well, I don't want to do that until they're gonna dogpile me. I'm gonna dodge the first guy. If you do that, it's for the rest of the combat turn. You get 11 more dice to your dodge roll. I'm gonna go into full defense. Uh, okay. uh, I'm gonna take a literally jump out of the way and grab the scaffolding above me. Okay. Well, let's start with a dodge roll. First guy is trying to hit you. Uh, and then we'll do a. Yeah, we're not so let's do gymnastics. Recourse. Make sure there's nothing videotaping this. Are there any cameras in this alley from when I did recon before? Alley, no. Alley mouth, yes. There's nothing recorded here. <laughs> You're right, the, da- the dice The dice do hate us. You see are you four, comfortable with that level of success? You see four hits. I would check to see if these guys are recording anything. Crap, I can't roll with crap. I switch out my dice. Breeze out of the way of the first guy. Well, my character wouldn't. Hey, so it's, a, it's a gymnastics roll well, to jump. To be care yeah. of. Three hits to jump. So I jump out of the way <laughs> onto the scaffolding bar. <laughs> yeah. Like this. So I'm not getting get jumped on. <laughs> yeah, I like Obviously. shove the guy in the wall and then jump over the, the only way. thing is like, that's real. They're still going to be able to attack you because you can't use gymnastics to get out of there until it's your turn. 
Alright. They're still all gonna be able to attack you. So, go ahead and give me, as of right now, four uh, defense rolls. Okay, well, here's the first one. So, you think. Well, the first roll is 10. Yeah, you dodged that one. Next one is 8. Yeah, you dodged that one. The next one is 6. Yeah, you dodged that one. 2. Okay, you don't dodge that one. Uh, that is three net on you, so that is Stop. 16. Is this stun or physical? This would be stun. Well, this would be physical, but armor would probably negate it down to stun. Yeah, she has 18 armor. Yeah. Oh, she's just, just buy it. She's just... She can't buy it for 16 damage. Right. Oh, I thought you said three. Okay. Three net, but the base nope. is 13. He just has oh, stomach curve, but then he's fine. 16. Still off, but he is quite uh, your armor is high enough to make it stun. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm taking 16 yeah, stun. Yeah, we have to check the down first. Oh. I'll have the other broken tank. I mean, I'm just 25. Yes. Seven. Yeah. What do you use that? Those guys like me. What will I soak up? Seven minus 16? Yeah, right now you're still taking nine damage. I'm gonna spend another edge. I'm gonna be really mad at you guys next turn that I didn't kill somebody. You never know that's right. <laughs> and I have seven more, so I have 14. Okay, so that's two stuff. Okay. And that was everybody. There's one other person, and you would still go before them. Memory of free action? Try to remember which camera it would be that would see the entrance to this alley. Oh, um, you'd be able to figure that one out. You would have had enough of the map part that you would not have to remember it. You can just go and hit that one. So that's going to be 10, 15, 18, 19, Okay. I mean, I'm in AR, so I still would be able to. Right. Well, I might. Wait. I'm going to this. Yeah, no, those, those so it's like, I can't do anything else. I jumped into it, so can I, well, can I use the... Are you close enough to shoot at them? So, I'm still on the mass of people. Oh. Okay. I got three, so I take seven. Yeah. Yeah, you also take seven and have a feedback. Yeah, you've got a mark. Yeah, so I got a mark. And you can ask a bunch of questions, too. Is it connected to the grid in general? Is no, it, it is connected is it to the device. Is it okay. Well, I have to be in general. Oh, okay. Its so first name is Louise. With my, with my knowledge, then, uh, I can just delete this yeah, just at this time. Well, you'd be taking me Uh, you would need to... If you're call, it's only hot since... Well, I, I can't do it right now, yeah. but it, it's, it's something that's easy enough to take care of. Yeah. I mean, you can edit the file next turn and, and make... You just don't get the 5d6. Yeah. Make it all go <laughs> away. Yep. Uh, ghost. Okay, I do have a question. When it comes to doing knockout, do I first cast a spell? Or do I just say I'm casting it at force 10 and then I do to it? Declare the force you're casting it at first. Okay. Do you have the knockout spell? <laughs> yes, I do. You, well, you know you also need to make an unarmed combat attack then. Right? That's fine. I honestly didn't think it would be like this. Since <laughs> they're all yeah, on Zane. Yeah. Uh, one of them okay, so is on the ground. One of them missed badly so and kind of blew past Zane. And the other four... Um, Casting uh, knockout at force 10 gets you another burst. burst. Huh? There's no reason to cast knockout at force 10. Uh, three, okay. Except unless you think you're going to blow the limb at that badly. Because knockout is a direct spell. Its damage is equal to the number of hits you get. Okay, because this is an opposed test, mass spell spellcasting. That's awesome. Yes, but what I'm saying is, so you've, got, you've got 12 dice, what's the chance you're going to roll 10 successes? I see. Honestly, you, you could cast that at force 8, and you'd still be at minimum brain. Okay, the thing is, I only have nine dice. Uh, escape. If you know what? If it was the indirect stun spell, yeah, casting a force 10 makes a huge difference. Oh, because it deals 10 damage base. There we go. Go ahead and cast lightning. Four hits on six dice. No. Use the thing. Well, the problem is I don't think I'm going to do enough stun to... Um, on the one guy I went past Zane. 
You, okay. The drone Back doesn't out. have any penalties for you. And is this good? This yeah, is controlled by my physical max. Yeah, max Your physical limit is six. Last time. Oh, okay, I got five. Okay. okay. Uh, All right. Are you your casting knockout? Yes. So okay. it's five to hit, and, and then you cast the spell. Yes. So now do I just roll a spell casting? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, well, my strength is a nine alone. Yeah. Yeah. Strength is yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's three successes. Okay. He does not dodge. You have one net. Five so hits on the knockout. So what is the damage for knockout? Yeah, okay, he's a little woozy. Oh yeah, I said okay. Um. You got four people piled on you. Yeah, well, um. Just kick one yeah. of them since you're. Now I'm gonna be angry. I'm pulling out full spurs. I'm going full attack on the first uh, closest person to me right now. Okay. I guarantee what I. What is your dice pool? Up? Um, 21 dice. Oh, that, that was fast. So I just buy enough hits yeah. to literally just hurt someone. <laughs> Go ahead. I actually only got five hits. I want to know what W's burned out. Okay. <laughs> I'm off, I, am, I am completely. His reaction plus okay, intuition to dodge uh, is only if five dice. Were to survive, it would be well, it's only. Well, even if he rolled a five, it's just 12 P minus two. Oh, yeah, and he also has minus one die to his Yeah, it's the same text. In my hometown, I lived in. Oh, yeah, because I got a. Plus, I have a one reach. Plus, he's like on top of me. In my hometown. So, how much is your normal damage? Four. Yeah, that's not enough. 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 Yeah, that's there's a so yeah. they're within two miles of each other. It's oh, yeah. starting at 12 and going up from zero. Uh, what is his? Uh, it would go Inside up by five unless you rolled against it. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out his armor here. He said, but if he got five yeah. hits, then it would take my five hits away, wouldn't it? Yeah, Carol's going to roll a punch. Yeah, Carol's going to roll a punch. Spell, I'm looking for a punch. Yeah, it's like one page. Okay, so you do enough damage to him that there's not no point in really rolling. Do you get him? So with that, I just kill my guy. Yeah. What are the deals? Boom. I jump out of the pile with blood all over me. That is a far better spell. <laughs> but it's resisted with armor as normal, unlike knockout. And the one guy that Denise smacked is going to... But that's that's the difference of indirect versus direct spells. It's just that was my intimidation roll. Five... Hits to go attack the knees. Well, so that is five. five. Okay. Holy smokes. I've maxed out right there. Yeah. All right. Okay. So I got six. Okay. You are able to dodge. Well, he only got five to hit. So yeah. Yeah, you're able to dodge. So recourse and. So is, Ghost have so is, more, so is have two guys hand. stunned and one dead? Uh, uh, one guy stunned, one dead, and one very, very woozy. Yeah. Yeah. Still nowhere near the alley. If my agent deletes oh, yeah. the file, then I have the mark on. Yeah. Sure. And okay. I want um, to um, do a matrix perception myself, see if any of them have wireless devices that we'll need to take care of. Roll edge. Given how late it is and how close to wrapping up we are, and the fact that they all blew their composure rights, um, they are all going to bug out, and one hit is enough to say that the, there's a link you would have to get rid of, and it will be in range long enough for you to kill it. Zane, roll composure. Can she leadership to help? Yeah, that's what I was about to say. I got three on my composure uh, check. Okay, you so decided not to go I'm chasing uh, after them. Apparently killing one was enough. That was enough. Okay. That was the person I hit, yeah. <laughs> Um, so, you have a dead body and an unconscious body in front of you. Yeah. What do you guys want to do? Oh, and by the way, the, the speaker is still going on. Because I don't have a fixer. The fair is still going on. I just pick up the body and throw it into the dumpster in the alley. <laughs> Actually, if that's the guy that did all that damage to you, he's augmented. Why don't you take him to a body stripper thing and just sell the uh, cyberware you Because he's still covered in blood, right? Uh, there's one dead guy and one unconscious guy. And the unconscious guy. Chop shop. Take it. I mean, I call, call one of your. I have yeah, chop shops, and I have. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But the one that's still alive, I'm about to. I want to. If there's one that's still alive, I'm about to. I'm about to. 
there a subway or something? I can, vehicle? I can so roll on chop <laughs> Yeah, see, see if there's any nearby here. Is there a subway station or anything nearby? No. Uh, tourist I got really six have a lot hits of. on chop shops in the area that I can Is go to. Is there a bus nearby? There's not really much of a bus okay. in this area. Yeah, this I could probably carry. Low. I could probably carry both of these guys. Yeah, Barbara. I don't. I don't care about the dead guy. You're not gonna chop shop the poor unconscious guy. Okay, so you decide. Well, is your does your person care? I have you ever known she really doesn't. So is there a chop shop nearby? Yes. Yeah. Yes, there is. You, oh, you, you do have really high strength, you said. Yeah, I do. Um, I can carry him from somewhere else. Is, is Wait, how do you have a strength? Because, uh, okay. because my strength was a five um, augmented. So with, from what? Uh, I'm actually muscle toner. <laughs> you have an augmented maximum of plus four. Yeah, so that would jack that up. I mean, no, 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 no. There's an augmented maximum of plus four. Right. So if you have a two base strength, but you cannot get higher than six strength. Because your augment is total. Have, okay. okay. Alright, well, then I'll take the guys to the chop shop while you guys go back to the fair and take care of our money. I'm still at the fair. I was just moving you away. Alright. Okay, um. Well, you're covered in blood anyway. Yeah, my strength is a 9 and my body is a 5. I should be able to carry both guys. Okay, so we're going to speed through this and say that the fair wraps up fairly uneventfully. They will give you guys the 5100. Um, if you, once you call Evelyn to say, hey, yeah, job's done, nobody's, you know, no troubles. Um, she'll give you the 5100. Will she go on a date with me? No. Even after the two stuffed animals I sent her? Um, yeah. And the pig? <laughs> no, wait, sorry, no. Um, hey, not even one dinner <laughs> with the pig? No. Um, Put it in a box. You just gave the nickname <laughs> hamster. Okay. Hey Chummers, this is your GM Jeremy. I want to thank you for sticking with us at the Shadow Rum Podcast for another hour. Uh, at this time, the bar is now closed, so we're going to have to settle up our tab. The Tops Company Incorporated has sole ownership of the names, marks, logos, artwork, photographs, sounds, audio, video, and or any proprietary material used with the game Shadow Run. Tops Company Incorporated has granted permission to the Shadow Rum podcast to use such names, logos, artwork, marks, and or any proprietary materials for promotional and informational purposes on its website, but does not endorse and is not affiliated with the Shadow Rum podcast in any official capacity whatsoever. The Shadow Rum podcast is recorded under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial 4.0 International License. If you have more questions about what that entails, please contact Creative Commons at their website, creativecommons.org. The Shadow Rum podcast is also hosted digitally by the Relative Dimension and the Relative Dimension Network. For more information or to reach out to them, you can find them at the website, relativedimension.com. Hope you're enjoying the sounds in the background. This is Lee Rosevere. He was doing the intro and the outro. The intro music is Glass Android. The outro music is Max Flashback. If you want to reach out to contact the Shadow Rom Podcast, you can find us at Twitter at Shadow Rom podcast pdcst or via email at shadowrum.podcast at gmail.com that's shadowrum r-u-m dot podcast p-o-d-c-a-s-t at gmail.com again this is jeremy reminding you to please drink responsibly follow the laws about drinking ages in your location and see you guys in the shadows shimmer